What's going on guys? Welcome to one month, I almost said 30 days. It's the same thing I guess. Welcome to one month in the life of a full-time YouTuber. And I say full-time with quotes. It's not quite, it's not quite full-time yet. Uh, I still teach code a lot on the side. YouTube doesn't pay for 100% of my bills. And I knew that it wouldn't. Um, if I could just maintain it where it's at, then that would be enough and then I could keep teaching. So, so these are the top three things that I regret when I, uh, when I quit my job. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it seems I've worked uh, a whole lot harder now than whenever, when I had my full-time job. When I had my full-time job, I, I just did the job and, and you know, it was whatever. But now it's like, I have to think of ways I can grow. I have to think of what's next. How can I improve the quality of everything that I'm doing? Uh, how can I improve the camera settings? It's just all these tiny little things that add up and sometimes it gets to be a little bit overwhelming and then you end up doing nothing at all. You get paralysis. I, I guess that's the word for it. Paralyzed by analysis because you're thinking about all these things you can do. So what are you doing? I don't know. This is a little sleeping bag that they have. We went camping and they, they fell in love with this sleeping bag so they tossed it on the couch for them and they they like to hang out on it. It's uh, almost 8 o'clock. I still have to do a uh, morning live stream. Those are kind of like, they're, they're just kind of like a daily hangout now where I can engage with you guys because there's a lot of people that just make videos and then disappear or they make stories on Instagram and if you want to see anything else or you want to engage with them then you have to go follow them on their Instagram or, or whatever their chosen platform is. But I'm just kind of doing a daily morning live stream just so I can engage with you guys, answer your questions. I should start moving the stream at different times throughout the day so I could catch different audiences because right now no one is at home from work, unless you're at work and I'm just alt-tabbed behind you and you, you're listening to me so you don't get in trouble. But typically, most of the audience, most of the people that show up to the live streams in the morning are in different time zones or already done with work. I need to start changing the times I do live streams throughout the day. The problem with that, well, it's not, it's not, a, mm, I guess it's my problem, right? My, my, my issue with that is that I'm a morning person and I'm, I work best in the morning. I work most creative in the morning, I work most focused in the morning. Some people are night people, some people stay up till the wee hours of the night doing whatever it is that they're good at doing. Uh, for me, it's in the morning. Right when I wake up for the first three hours, I'm just totally focused. But for those first three hours when I wake up, man, I'm just a productive machine and I try not to waste that on tedious things like answering email or... So I, I definitely spend one, at least one of those hours doing a live stream because I feel really feel really in the zone, in the, in the zone. It's kind of a strange feeling when you're, when you're an entrepreneur. I don't even know if I'd call myself that, right? People, well, what's your business? I don't, I, I kind of, I make money off the internet. Well, what's your business? I do a bunch of different things, which is the key. You, you, you never have, you never want to have one source of revenue. You want to have multiple sources of revenue. So that's why if you look at YouTubers, they have merch, they have the support me, channel, uh, the little, you know, the, the large YouTubers, they have a little join support thing, membership. Um, they have sponsorships, like, you gotta have more than one revenue stream. Um, but the problem with that, I think, still, is that if YouTube were to take away their platform, now what? Now they have to rebuild their audience, which, understandably, would be easier, but they're still kind of putting all their eggs in, in one basket. So you gotta grow all of the social medias, which I'm doing a bad job at right now. I, actually, I've been putting an, an effort into growing Instagram. I've been making a video every morning of just motivational, just to get me better at making eye contact with the camera and coming up with motivational things to say without losing my train of thought. I need to work on Facebook. I should probably make a Snapchat where you guys can Snapchat me and then I can answer your questions every night. There's a whole lot of things that I need to work on during the job, or, or, or for YouTube specifically. And then balancing that throughout the day, as I have students, um, you know, you have a limited, you have a limited pool of willpower. And as you use that throughout the day, it gets easier and easier to make crappier decisions or easier and easier to give up on the things that you want to do best. And I know this is kind of difficult for you guys. A lot of you guys who have full-time jobs doing something unrelated to code and you come home, you're like, how do you have the motivation to do it? Well, the secret is I don't have I don't have the motivation to do it. I just sit down and do it. I don't have to like it to know that that's what I want to do, and I know that's what I need to do to get where I want to be. Like I don't have to like you know this is the dream. Uh, I can't complain. This is what I've worked towards. Um, this is phase one of the dream: become self-employed, put the responsibility on yourself, remove yourself from 
taking the paycheck of another person and put all the responsibility on me. This is what's most fulfilling to me. Um, and that, this is phase one. Phase two is to become financially independent. Phase three is to give back to my parents and go buy them a house and you know, just, just let them retire. They just, they just had a hard life. I think, I think it's time for them to retire. Yeah, so we're in phase one, working on phase one. Hopefully, if I can just keep doing what I'm doing, things will keep growing, things will keep working out. We're really close to 30,000 subscribers right now. It's pretty insane. Uh, I, I made a goal to hit 100,000 before the end of the year, but that's definitely not, it's definitely not gonna happen according to the math. Uh, who knows, I could make one viral video and that's all it takes. So, it, it could happen. Okay, so I, I'm running out of time for this live stream. These dogs are going to sleep, which means they're gonna be quiet. Um, it's really kind of a rainy day outside, or I was, I was gonna go outside and film this, because usually we have awesome views. But after this rain goes away, we're gonna have a bunch of snow on the mountains, which I would really like to go explore, make some videos about exploring. There's a whole lot to do in Utah. I guess one of the benefits of being your own boss is now that I'm a YouTuber, well, not just being your own boss, but now that I'm a, a, a YouTuber, so to speak, I can make videos anywhere that I want and it's a business expense. So yeah, part of me just really wants to like go sit down and just play a game of Overwatch and just take a break. You deserved it, Josh. You've been doing nothing but teaching and doing YouTube since you basically woke up this morning. You know, no time for that. I have to go, I have to go work, I have to go produce, I have to go lift weights. I know as soon as I go to the gym, once I get there, once I walk in, get the first few sets in, everything will be all right. Uh, you know, I'm not particularly feeling it. I don't feel like I'm gonna hit any new records or anything like that today. I don't feel strong or whatever, right? But that, those feelings aren't facts, so um, I'll go, I'll show up, I'll do the, do the work, put in the work, and then I'll come back and I'll feel refreshed. And then supposedly I've held myself accountable to this thing where I'm supposed to run two miles every day. And it's really cold and gross and wet outside and I don't really wanna do that, but it'll be, you know, gotta <laughs> convince myself to do that. I'm not really motivated about it, but it's actually been beneficial. I feel a lot, I feel a lot better after the run. Uh, that's when I usually have a lot of good thoughts. I start writing things down. I need to get done. You know, it's not. You don't always have to be motivated to do do the things that you want to do. That's just, that's just not what it's about. And I'm not particularly motivated to go to the gym. It's just part of my routine. It's just the discipline to keep going. Time keeps slipping away. It's now 2.01, so I gotta go to the gym. So this is a classic example of what happens when you get distracted during the day because it is now. Might not be able to see it, but it's 2.37. Um, something that's been bugging me in my videos is that it's just been auto-focusing, like flickering, like trying really, really hard to auto-focus on myself, and then it'll swap between me and the background and the videos. And so I spent the past, I don't know, 37 minutes trying to figure out, oh, you know, did it, it did it again. Okay, so now I'm actually out of the gym. Hopefully the quality of these videos should increase. I fixed the white balance of my kitchen. Uh, I reset my camera. I have a couple different settings now, so finally I, it should it should be looking it should be looking pretty crisp. All right, so it's just now four o'clock in the afternoon. Just got finished doing shoulders at the gym. Now I have to go run, take these dogs on a run, give them their space for the day. But I'm gonna start redoing these videos so that I can have like a, a higher quality, so I can edit them twice before I actually release them. I think that will that will do a lot of good. It's like if you wrote a paper when you were like in school, you wrote a paper and you came back and you started reading it, and you're like, what, what did I write? What was I thinking? That's how I feel the next day when I edit videos. So I think if I get started with that approach of making videos every day, then it'll like the videos will be one day behind they'll be delayed but the video quality will just increase exponentially i think this is i'll set a time limit just draft it up as fast as i can get the bare bones minimum and then the next day add after effects or special effects or whatever it is that i want to add all right so all done with the run as i was saying before earlier at the uh before i went to the gym the days I don't feel like going, or the days I think that I'm not gonna hit any maxes or do very well are the days that are the best. So, like today, I felt really good running. Didn't really get that winded. Had to stop a couple times, but that's okay. How am I supposed to keep up with Casey Neistat when I meet him if I'm not training for the run? Tomorrow's actually a pretty clear day, no students, so 
all morning will be pretty productive. Pretty excited about that. So my day is just about up. Um, as far as this video is concerned, at least. I mean, I do the same thing almost every single day. That's why it's called the grind reel, right? To other people who watch my videos, you know, every now and then, or they click on a video, and to all the new people, you know, just by the way, welcome. It looks like I'm making leaps and bounds, but almost every single day I'm trying to improve. Uh, I know that might not look like it. Some days it's, um, I've made a commitment to do one live stream and one video every single day, and sometimes I slip up, but I forgive myself for that. And this also pushes me creatively, because I know at the end of the day, I have to push out a video. And sometimes the videos, I know I, I look at myself and I'm like, this is not my best work. You could have done better if you did X, Y, Z. And then I try to implement that into the next video. It's, this whole thing is just like a, <laughs> to like push myself creatively. As far as the money goes, um, YouTube, you know, as I said before, it doesn't pay for all of my bills, it pays for some of my bills. It's definitely, um, definitely a, a portion of the income, but it's not, it's not everything. And I'm just using this like as an opportunity to kind of, kind of push myself, kind of grow. I have future plans, I have future ideas. I think one of my main issues right now is being able to focus and stay focused, especially as I work with different students throughout the day who encounter different problems with different languages and different technologies, and we have to spend time to go delve deep into that. And it pulls my focus away from the ability to be creative, so to speak. So that's why I do, you know, I work out, I go run, I meditate, and I just take some time out for myself. Then I usually have some pretty good ideas. And then people on Discord also have some pretty good ideas. Um, do I regret the decision? Absolutely not. I wouldn't have it any other way. I know, I burn the boats, right? So a lot of people are like, there's no way I could do that. It's too risky. I mean, it's going. It's going all right, right? I'm not, I'm not like particularly struggling or anything. The bills get paid. I can't buy like a Lambo or anything, but do I need a Lambo? When would I use a Lambo? If I wanted to buy something new, I just ask myself the question, when would I use it and would this significantly pr improve the production quality of what I'm of what I'm making? And there's like Peter McKinnon's video the other day, like YouTube is the loneliest job you've ever had. And it kind of is, but um, the ability to be alone and be happy is a, something I've been working on for a while. And I don't think that really affects me so much. Sometimes I would like a second person to be able to hold the camera and be like, all right guys, check this out. And then like, you know, or if I was doing a workout video, I wouldn't have to like set the, set the camera down like a phone and then point it at me like every Instagram video that you've ever seen. Um, everyone's like, you know, quality over, over, over quantity. And that's true to a certain extent. However, I need the daily video. I need the daily video views to produce that income because if you look at my graph, a lot of my videos just fall off. And that could be due to quality, that could be due to my crappy thumbnails, that could be due to a number of things, the time that I release it, the day of the week that I release it. All that stuff is, is plays a large factor on how many views you get. So the, the, the live streams are a significant portion, they help a lot, um, and the daily videos also help a lot. And I learn a lot every single day. I'm getting faster with making thumbnails, getting faster with editing the bare minimum. I'm getting, you know, I think I'm improving. Does it, like some of my videos don't do well, does that mean like, I'm, you know, have bad quality or does that just mean I didn't have a great idea that day or I didn't execute it well? It makes you ask yourself some questions like, what am I doing wrong? Why can't I get that? Is it my niche? Is it my personality? Is it the way I look? Is it my energy level? Um, I can't pretend, I, I, can, I can try to raise my energy and be more charismatic, which I've been making a huge effort on trying to do that and be, uh, come at every single video with like an attitude, like a, a positive attitude, an attitude of goodwill towards you guys, right, because that's the whole point of these videos is to help you guys, to show you whatever you're trying to do, if you're struggling, if you push hard enough and long enough, you can get over it. Um, a lot of people just want to see the end result. They don't want to, you know, that's what Usain Bolt said, right? Showing up for the race and running the race is the easy part, but the four years behind the scenes of just training is the really, you know, part no one cares about, part no one sees. Everyone just shows up to the Olympics. They don't show up to the daily training sessions because those are boring and not interesting. That's the gap that I'm filling. I'm, I'm filling in like every single day. I make a video, you can see the improvements over time. Maybe one day I'll just hit like a button and I'll just flick a switch and the quality of the videos and everything about me will just change. But that's usually not, it's usually not how it works. I feel like I'm just ranting now. So I appreciate all you guys for watching these videos. Definitely don't regret one month into YouTube. I definitely have plans to expand. I mean, the channel is still growing overall. A lot of people still enjoy the content. If I read almost every single comment that I get, um, I may not reply to all of them, but some of them don't really, <laughs> some of them don't really need a reply. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little 
vlog rant slash update video on one month into YouTube. Um, just hit that subscribe button. We're almost at 30K, really close to 30K. Maybe we'll get that this weekend. Who knows? But I appreciate you guys. And uh, hit the like button. Leave me a comment if you, if you want to. Shoot me an email as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video.